What is up everybody, this is your boy Is Nefarious and I am here with your Premier Fantasy Football Report uh, and this is going to be a week 3 report. So I'm one week away from catching up, uh, currently in week 5, so um, week 4 can be completed and I have to really wait until week 5 is completed before I, I finish that up. So here's our week 3 report. Um, Hopefully I could get our week 4 report out tomorrow, but let's dive into this one. So we're going to start with our fantasy pickup pick up teams, um, our competitors this week. It was the same as last week. It was me, is Nefarious, you got Fallen, and then you got Mally Rojo. Um, as you can see, we got different picks. All three of us had uh, one a different way. I went with Baker Mayfield, Leonard Fournette. Philip Lindsay, Odell Beckham Jr., Curtis Samuel, Noah Fant, Saquon Barkley, Jake Elliott in the Giants defense. Um, Leonard Fournette uh, tried to ride him a little bit uh, after last week when he got me 36.5 points. Um, hopefully he could do the same this week. We'll see exactly what happened. Um, but he he was pretty much on there from his last week performance. Also went the, with the Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham combination because of the matchup. Um, can't exactly remember who they played week three. Just let me see right here. Week three they played, they played the Rams. So it was pretty much a good matchup to choose. Um, uh, we'll see exactly how I fared with that, but um, Baker Mayfield, Odell Beckham is a good a good combination pretty much week to week. We'll see how that exactly went. And then you got Saquon Barkley, who's a safe pick every week as my flex. Um, now we move over to Fallen. You got Patrick Mahomes, Saquon Barkley, Tariq Cohen, uh, Antonio Brown, Jakeem Grant, Zach Ertz, Tyreek Hill, uh, Eldrick Rosas, and the Bears defense. I mean, a pretty much a couple bears in there. Uh, he also had uh, Jakeem Grant. A lot of safe picks. Tariq Cohen's a safe pick. He's going to get his fantasy points, especially with uh, the mole controlling him. Uh, Jakeem Grant is a safe pick with uh, Cookie Boy out in Miami. Uh, then you got Tyreek Hill, who's a pretty safe pick as well with the Chiefs. And the Bears defense is always a safe pick. Um, Patrick Mahomes, I mean, he seems like a safe pick, and a lot of people pick him week to week, but he hasn't really been, uh, you know, a big fantasy quarterback type. I mean, and but in this league, it's really hard to find those anyway. So, um, you know, the Saquon Barkley, Tariq Cohen, Tyreek Hill, all safe picks. Even Antonio Brown is a pretty safe pick. Tight end, there's really no safe pick. Uh, if anything, the safest pick is probably Evan Ingram and uh, for the Giants. And you can see Mally Rojo, uh, that was his tight end. Um, he, Mally Rojo also went with Marcus Mariota, Derek Henry, Kerryon Johnson, DJ Moore, John Brown, Evan Ingram, as I said, Tariq Cohen, uh, Will Lutz, and the Vikings. So this is, this is actually a, more of a, like, a risky a risky team uh, not a lot of safe picks on there um, maybe carry on Johnson because he, he's a little unknown so far um, even though Finn wins uh, nobody's really picked him this season I think this is the first time we've seen him on a pick -em team um, carry on Johnson should be a safe pick uh, DJ Moore and John Brown you don't know what you're getting there so those are, are tough picks Evan Ingram, like I said, is a safe pick in Tariq Cohen. So he kind of, he had a, a couple safe picks, a uh, little less than both I and Fallen. Uh, took a little risk here and there. Uh, let's see how that panned out for him. We'll take a look at the results real quick. Um, as you see, um, he ended up in second place, even though he, he didn't really pick the safest picks, 148.2, and our winner was Fallen at 182.26, so he pretty much blew us out of the water, um, especially me over there at 113.04, so uh, congratulations to Fallen with his first win in the Fantasy Pick'ems. 
Uh, he's the winner of week three, so he'll get the two attribute points. I still gotta collect mine from the first two weeks, but I think I'm I'm just trying to get my all my videos out, and then I might do a massive attribute upgrade request. Um, but as you see there, fallen. Uh, number one pick, uh, Philip Lindsay just pretty much put the best player, well, the most recognized player on his team, well, besides Von Miller. Uh, I picked Philip Lindsay uh, just to represent his team, but congratulations to Fallen on that one. We'll take a look at his team and see exactly how they did and how he got it. I got to 182.26. Um, as you see, Patrick Mahomes, 18 points, pretty decent game. From a quarterback, Saquon Barley, Barkley with a great game, 41 and a half points. Uh, that was big for him. Um, Tariq Cohen, 29.6. Another good game from him. Like I said, he's going to be a safe pick every fall all year. Pretty much just like Saquon Barkley, both going to be really safe picks all year. Um, once in a while, you might hit on a sleeper that outscores him, but really safe picks. Uh, Antonio Brown, 15.8. He's he's between the 15 and 20 range week to week, so he's pretty safe. Uh, Jakeem Grant 22.9, Zach Ertz only 5.4. He's been he's been really rough ever, especially since the Eagles user is no longer with us. Uh, Tyreek Hill 30 points in the flex position. Aldrick Rosas with five, and then the Chicago Bears D kind of a, a down game for them with only 14. Um, but you could see where. Uh, the difference, uh, Derek Henry from Mali Rojo didn't really get much points. I think he had like less than 10 points, so that really hurt him that week. But you know, congratulations, Fallen. Uh, good team there. I think he ended up riding the same team in week three. I mean, week four. Um, when I drop that video, I'll, I'll probably talk about it, but um. Good, good little team for week three. We'll take a look at the player of the week this week in fantasy. And it actually went to the Baltimore Ravens' Mark Ingram, who had 282 yards from the line of scrimmage, three touchdowns in total, one reception, and 47.2 points uh, altogether. So, um, really good game from him, especially having the three touchdowns. Uh, and over 200 yards from the line of scrimmage. I believe he had like 208 from rushing and then 74 from, you know, receiving on a one reception. Led to three touchdowns. Um, great game by Mark Ingram. Uh, Mark Ingram's going to be on the fantasy radar week to week, especially with me and me picking teams. Uh, depending on the matchup, I mean, he uses them heavily, and uh, as you can see here, he, he pretty much he got his first uh, star of the week, player of the week award here. Um, 47.2, that's the new high beats Jameson Crowder, who was at 47.1 week one. So, congratulations to Mark Ingram and uh, King of Minecraft for the fantasy player of the week. Um, we're going to jump into the fantasy team of the week. Uh, we're going to start with quarterback, and... Um, pretty much the first time on the list. Uh, surprise, he's not on the list more, but Aaron Rodgers with uh, 350 passing yards, five passing touchdowns, one interception. Uh, he had negative one, run, negative one yard rushing uh, and also had a fumble. So after, uh, after the 14 points from the passing yards and then 20 points from the passing touchdowns, he, he kind of took a little hit to his score, minus two, minus... 0.1 and then minus two again. So 29.9 was the high for quarterbacks this week. Um, this is that's pretty much the lowest so far when it comes to the team of the week. Uh, everybody else has been over 30 points at least for the week. So let's uh, move on to the running back. As you know, Mark Ingram. Um, like I said, 208 yards rushing, two rushing touchdowns, one reception, 74 yards receiving. Uh, and then one receiving TD. So the three total to the TDs, um, you know, 282 yards uh, from the line of scrimmage, and uh, 47.2 points. Uh, really great week by Mark Ingram. Um, we'll take a look at Brandon Cooks. 
um, surprise here, especially with sh uh, Shades over there in uh, Los Angeles, not really figuring it out uh, with that team yet. Uh, but it seems uh, we're in week, week five now, right? Yeah, we're in week five. And it seems like he's uh, coming around the corner the last couple of weeks. So we'll see how we can, if he continues to, uh, um, continues to grow with that, that team and grow with that offense and really figure things out. But you take a look at Brandon Cooks. Uh, five receptions, 110 yards, two receiving TDs. Um, that led to five points, 11 points, and 12 points uh, for a grand total of 28 points. Not the greatest week for a wide receiver um, compared to you know other 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 weeks and other wide receivers. Um, really, overall, it's been it was a down week for every position but quarter uh, but running back. Um, running back had a bunch of guys over 30, over 35. And a lot of guys coming close to Mark Ingram, but nobody was able to overtake him. I think the second highest was 44. So, not a great week for everybody else, but running backs every week, they're pretty much going to get their points. Um, we'll take a look at the tight end now. As you can see, we got our first timer with Mike Gesicki. Mike Gesicki uh, over in Miami. Really raw and athletic type of tight end. Um, in the right hands, I think he can be a problem. Uh, sucks that he went to Miami. Uh, definitely somebody that has a lot of potential. And I don't think he's ever going to reach it in Miami. Maybe with Cookie Boy he could reach it. But um, in real life, I don't think he's ever going to reach it. But Cookie Boy is going to do his best. And he pretty much had a he had an uh, up week when it came to tight ends. I would say in the... 25 range 24 range pretty good week um you got five receptions 134 yards and one receiving td uh so you got five points from the receptions 13.4 from the receiving yards and six from the tv the td um gave him a grand total of 24.4 so a pretty good week from the tight end um seems to be at par with the rest of the tight ends from previous weeks um, can't remember off the top of my head, but um, really good week from that tight end. We'll take a look at the defense of the week, and we got the Buffalo Bills defense first time on the list. Um, had a really good week, only allowed 12 points, had seven sacks. He also had three takeaways and two defensive TDs. So um, he played the Bengals that week. He, uh, he was able to get the takeaways and really the, the main thing that put him above and beyond was the defensive TDs. Um, he was actually really close with, I think, I think uh, the Titans might have had like 28 and the Bills had 29. So it was in a one point difference between team of the week. Um, but the 12 points allowed gave him 4 points, 7 sacks. Gave him seven points. The three takeaways gave him six points, and the two defensive TDs gave him twelve for a total of twenty-nine. Um, not the, I mean, when it came when it comes to defense and the points, usually every week. I mean, this this next week I already did week four some of the templates and the defense next week blows this defense out of the water, um, but. I would say it's a down week, but 29 points from the defense is really good either way. Um, you know, you can't go wrong there. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, that's that's our team of the week, as you see here again. Um, not the best fantasy week we've had so far. This is our low. Uh, we'll see if uh, another week gets even lower. Maybe we're on all highs right now because everybody's getting used to the game and defense is not really a key part this this Madden. Um, some teams, some people in here really know how to play defense. A lot of people are struggling, including myself. i got to really figure out that defense in New Orleans. Um, but that's pretty much going to do it for our premier fantasy football report. Uh, hopefully I can get week four out by the end of the day tomorrow. I'll try my best. But with football on, I can't really promise anything. But I'll see you next time. And